Gary Coombe, CEO, Gillette, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, the first question is a broad one. How does Gillette use sports marketing and how has that evolved? Sports marketing has been at the heart of Gillette's marketing for many, many years. Uh, we were one of the early pioneers uh, of sports marketing way back in the 50s. So um, it remains uh, a very important part of our marketing mix. Of course it's evolved. Um, the industry itself has evolved and it, it's evolved over time. No longer are we um, looking for sports partnerships to drive brand awareness. People are aware of Gillette in, you know, guys are aware of Gillette in every market you know, around the world. So what we want to get from sports marketing has changed and it's more about partnership, working together on marketing breakthrough, finding sports assets that have values that are congruent with ours. So, so that's certainly changed, but it being at the heart of our marketing, uh, it, it was many years ago, it is now and it will be for some time. I remember when Gillette was the best a man could get, and I believe it's now the best a man can be. Um, how challenging was that shift in marketing position? Um, in some respects, not challenging at all. Uh, the reality of uh, brand building today is that our consumers expect brands to contribute uh, something more to society than the delivery of their functional benefit. You know, in Gillette's case, uh, uh, not least because we're one of the biggest male brands in the world and we advertise you know, every day um, in every market around the world, uh, we have a big responsibility in how we portray men and, and we felt it was time to portray men in a more contemporary, progressive way, to portray men who would be contributing to the creation of a, of a better, fairer, more equitable society. So, uh, you know, our consumers expect that of us uh, and in that regard it wasn't a difficult thing to do at all. Um, uh, it's created some controversy, it's true, but uh, we believe these values are important and, and worthy, and our consumers do as well. And since we started on this journey, our business has grown, perhaps the most important thing. Mm -hmm. My next question was going to be, how do you measure the success of it? I guess that's the ultimate measurement, uh, the, the size of your business. But how do you measure, how are you measuring the success of that shift in, in marketing strategy? Yeah, two, two broad measures. I mean, the first is, to what degree uh, are we connecting, particularly with the millennial generation and younger and as a consequence of our shift, uh, shift we are connecting much more deeply much more deeply with these consumers uh, and that's great to see I mean they, they are aware of and they value Gillette much more as a consequence the other measure is what's happening to our business and, and our business is growing nicely again and uh, you know that that ultimately uh, is the is the bottom line measure mm -hmm. um, aside from smooth skinned what does a great Gillette ambassador look like um, I mean, they need to be um, uh, uh, preeminent in, in, the, in the sport that they, that they represent, of course, but they need to be more than that. Um, they need to have values um, uh, that are congruent with ours. And I think, uh, progressively, we want, we want partnerships with people who, who, who contribute to society beyond the sport that they play. And we have some great examples. Raheem Sterling is a, is a recent um, partnership that we've, that we've just um, entered into. Uh, Raheem's a great soccer star, of course, and he's famous for that. But progressively, you know, he's transcending the tribalism of the sport because, he's, because of his contribution to society and his work on, on racism and getting rid of racism in, in, in football. Uh, and those are exactly the kind of values that we would want to associate our brand with. So um, he's, he's a great example. Mm -hmm. As a, a leader yourself, as someone who looks after a very large organisation, what keeps you up at night? I sleep very well. Um, so, um, so, so, so really not much. Um, you know, uh, I, I think that ch the, the challenges of running a big organisation and a big business are, are, are true regardless of the business that you run, really. I mean, I, I want to make sure that, that the men and women that, that work for Gillette, who really do do the work, uh, are, are passionate about that work, are enabled and inspired to do the work that they need to do, um, because uh, you know they're they're the, they're the people that manage this brand. I mean, I'm just lucky enough to be the spokesperson, you know, that uh, gets to talk to folk like you. So I worry a lot about them and making sure they have what they need to win.